Hey guys, it's Awesome Billy 3. And welcome back to the back porch. That's right, it's still a mess. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So, we're talking about the model wheel. And there go my safety goggles that are broken. Just toss them there. We're talking about this again. Yay! Woohoo! Indefinitely, I said, in the third and final video that I recorded and edited and posted about this project on YouTube. Uh, I'm sort of coming back to it. It's... Let's see. Last day I worked on this was May 20... 23rd, I believe I want to say it was. It was a Friday. That was the last time I had uploaded a video. Uh, and that was the last day I had worked on this project. Uh, I had worked on it for a full two weeks straight, if you recall. Currently, uh, today is August, uh, Friday, August 13th. I, I can't believe I just said that out loud. Oh my god. Uh, yes, it's Friday the 13th. 2021, so it has practically been almost exactly three months since I stopped this project. Uh, right, June, July, yeah, August. So, almost exactly three months. And as you can see, I'm pretty sure you can see, uh, there is no bike frame uh, attached to the outer circle. It's actually over here. I don't even know if you can see that. Um, I'm assuming Blue Jays. Yeah, you can see it. it's right over there. So, I gave up on this. Can you? Wow! I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, wow. Red tail hawk just flew it up. You can keep on screaming. You're doing your job. The blue jazers. Red tail just came out of the tree, just gracefully flew over, and then went on the other side of the house, over the roof. Ah. Uh, wow. Um. Anyway, it just hawked. So I took this. I took this apart the other day uh, before I mowed the lawn, maybe like two, three days ago. Uh, because I was fed up. I keep looking at this out on the back deck. I just look at. I'll talk fast now because limited to 12 minute recording time. Go. So ignore the noise. Um, yes, we're standing here, that's disassembled, that's here, finally, I had the idea, alright, I'm like, I've had enough, I can't stand looking at this sitting here, I came so close, and now I'm like, I had an epiphany, I was downstairs about maybe, probably about an hour ago as of now, pacing back and forth, talking out loud, thinking, what am I going to do? Thinking of ideas, what what could be the problem? How could I fix it? How could I make it work? And I keep getting distracted by freaking noise. So I had the idea of this. This is a metal stud. These go inside the walls of your home, They uh, behind the drywall, because that is what your walls are made of, are, is made of drywall, which is made of gypsum, which is a type of rock, a very powdery rock, but you don't need to know that. So that metal stud is, is about this wide, normally, and it's like half of a square, basically, so it's open on one end. I just flattened it out and practically curved it. So now we have a curved flat piece of metal that is actually being practically, actually it's probably a little bit uh, wider in diameter, I mean width, 
not diameter because that's circular. Um, then the outer wheel of the monowheel. And now it doesn't do the full like the full circumference of the circle. And that's fine. I don't need it to. It can be only partial. And it actually is almost the full circumference. Basically, here's my idea. This is the current desi design we were at. So this skinny line here, that's the inner wheel that's over there that's attached to the bike as you can see with the custom gear right and then this thick line here that's the outer wheel that's laying down right there on the deck and then these lines are the 48 different bars that I manually bent cut to size and then drilled two holes in each of them ending up to 96 I believe if my math is correct I believe it is if memory serves correct as well 96 holes and then that would lead to screws that would go throughout the entire circumference inner circumference of the outer wheel of the monowheel that's a mouthful and then as you can see as these aren't on the thing anymore because I also took them off they're actually over there uh, can you see them sort of they they are right here these the, the three different rollers I also designed that's what uh, that's what these are here as you can see so see that has the caster wheel with the bolt and then it's the thing going around it and whatnot so and then they're here <coughs> so that's the old design this is the new design so I'm gonna unscrew all 96 screws that are attaching all 48 of those metal bars I so strenuously freaking made by hand take them all off and leave it with a, just a regular the regular old outer wheel next we're gonna remove the bike and notice there's no inner circle I'm gonna get to that in a second now we get this is the piece of metal I had just shown on camera that's laying down right there that's this so as you can see here this is the outer wheel and you can see this, that's the metal piece here. And you can see these four little circles. Now, those are these little caster wheels here. These little tiny little caster wheels here, as you can see. Uh, those are going to be hopefully screwed onto the bottom. I just threw it on the ground over there. Onto the bottom of that metal uh, plate that I just like hammered out and they'll go all along the bottom like this here so <coughs> that's that now as you can see they're exposed here so you can see them that's only for the pit so you can get an understanding of the diagram and the design next we move over here now these metal studs I explained how they're basically half of a square basically they're open on one end and I flattened it out it's not wide enough, it wasn't wide enough just as itself, unlike hammered and flattened, uh, to wrap around the edge of the outer wheel here, to, you know, bend around the sides. It's just wide enough now, after I bent it, to be, you know, just to cover the inner circumference. <coughs> so, that's where these come in. I don't know how I'm going to make these. But I'm, I'll probably figure it out. Um, probably with the same metal material that I used to make the rollers, the old rollers. Um, these little things, these will go over where each of the caster wheels are. And then I might like throw in some in between here. And just to stabilize it out. <coughs> and basically, these will go across, it will go across here where each wheel is and then it bends down on each side that way it's it's surrounding it you know it's like this it's bent around it the outer wheel <coughs> that way it's kinda holding it in place kinda like a track 
And that's basically what it is. It's a trap. And it doesn't need to be... I figured it doesn't need to be the whole thing. Because that would be a lot of drilling, bending. It's a lot. It would be a lot. We don't need to have all those bars cover the entire thing. We only need them where the wheels are. That way the wheels stay on the thing. I don't care about the spaces in between. I just need the wheels to stay input on the track. Recording just cut out, so now we're on step two because I'm too busy, I was too busy worrying about the freaking birds. So, like I said, all these bars have to come out. That took a while. That took probably about half an hour, 45 minutes to put them in. <coughs> now, this black tube, this one right here, that the bars are attached to, that's stained. Now, to get back to what I said about the, in, the old inner wheel that's attached to the bike, that tubing is coming off. And that is going to be put on the other side, parallel to the tu plastic tube that's currently on there now. That way it also creates its own little track. That way it's even. So that way the wheels will definitely stay. Now, that's where the tricky bit comes in. We gotta make sure that this is tight enough against the inner circumference of the outer circle. <coughs> that way it ensures that the little caster wheels will stay in place and that this won't come out. Now I might need to go get another uh, one of these metal studs uh, to fill this up because this might not even be enough. I don't know. Also, we're not even going to use the bike frame anymore. I might, I might, I don't know yet because I technically have no way of cutting it down, but it's too high up in the inner wheel. When I sit on it, I'm practically bumping my head. It's also practically too heavy, and it was weighing it down. But that's also because it was pulling on the outer wheel. Because these rollers were on the outside, where they, whereas the rollers should be on the inside, pushing outwards to keep the shape of this outer circle as sturdy and as you know circle shaped as possible that will ensure that the structural stability of the whole mechanism stays sound and it keeps the equilibrium balanced. Because we don't want a wobbly wheel going down the street. Definitely don't want that. Also, we don't want this popping out either because if that pops out, well, I guess I'm falling sideways onto the asphalt because, and that's gonna suck scraping up my entire body if I ever get this thing rolling. Pedal power, I have no idea. This is now going to be friction driven. I have no idea how I'm going to do that either because I don't have a tire that I can use that I can, you know, attach to a gear train and, you know, power. But basically, <coughs> that's going to also be in here, which is also probably going to be attached to this as well. So, gonna cut down that bike frame, maybe, probably even not. Gonna have a, probably figure out, custom design my own framing for a seat that's gonna be as low to the ground as possible. So I'm gonna take this out. And I'm gonna stand this up on the side where it's tallest. Anyway, sure. So before I was like right about here, my head was practically touching it. Uh, and frankly I was actually like outside like this. I'm gonna be like more down here. Uh, because that's where most of them are. Right about here is where I'm gonna be. Uh, right here. So. Anyway. That's the main idea. I have no idea if this is gonna work. This could, this idea could also block and it could lead to me 
again giving up on the project. And I never heard back from the University of Delft in the Netherlands. Never even got an automated response like from the school itself. I never even got that. Which, by the way, it's a school. It's not a company or just a, some random website. It's a university in the Netherlands. Didn't realize that. <coughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, also, I could use these caster wheels technically, but I can't because, I mean, they're good in size, I guess. They're not really that big, but they're plastic. And it would be plastic on plastic. It's too smooth of a surface. It's not enough friction. So I would need some sort of rubber tire. I don't have that. And I would need something small, probably about like this. And again, I don't have that. So I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm still at a technical standpoint where I'm still experimenting. I haven't even done work on this yet today. I immediately just went out, drew a double-sided thing diagram, and then talked to you guys, and then got distracted by hawks and blue jays and birds. And a dog barking, so. Oh. Yeah, uh, sun setting. I don't know, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's a real battle real challenge. So I'm going to take apart that, that outer ring in a second. Um, and then I'm probably going to go downstairs, grab the screw gun, and start unscrewing all these metal bars. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with these metal bars now, because now I've spent all that time making them for nothing. I'm starting to babble. So that means that it's the end of the video and therefore I bid you farewell and I'm going to start work on this and no you're not going to get to see any progress because it's basically just me uh, you know taking two steps back and hopefully I'm going to take three steps forward in the process because I don't know what I'm going to do if this doesn't work so that's the end of this video here I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, hit the bell, and as always, I will see you in the next video. And also, if you have any comments or suggestions or tips, please be sure to comment below, as I will take any advice, as I've said before in the past. So that's all. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!